Here we go. So it's my honor um, to invite Patty Duckworth to come up and share a few words with us. Mission Northwest is our denominational connection to ABC USA, the, who actually helped found this church 125 years ago. They were involved. <laughs> so Patty Rep is the, now the um, interim executive minister for Mission Northwest, as Charles has reti retired. And um, it's so good to have Patty here really on this occasion, because 25 years ago in September, I think this very week, she actually came and did the installation service of some, some guy who's hung out for the last 25 years with you. So, <laughs> Patty, come on up. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I'm glad for the invitation from Pastor Worth to come and join you for this really important day in your life and uh, enjoying history with you as you'll hear about in a little bit. Um, you were part of about 60 churches in eastern Washington, North Idaho uh, that was planted in the 1890s. Um, that was kind of considered the first wave of that missionary effort and I'm sure you're going to hear a lot about <laughs> Our forebears did a lot and found time to make sure that Jesus was preached. That's just kind of amazing to me. And so uh, when we think about all those things, I think it's important to think about that, to appreciate that, to be grateful to the Lord for that, but it's also important to say, okay, what's next? 
run fast as heralds of the gospel and planters of churches. Planters of churches. If we're going to keep up with the railroads, if we're going to meet the emergency there, no grass will grow under our feet and no moss on our backs. As Mr. Mathers puts it, the race of Western life has become intense. <laughs> the runners are treading on each other's heels. Woe unto him who stops to tie his shoestrings. If we stop or stoop or stumble or even go too slow, we shall be run over. <laughs> but he, he had a very clear sense of what's next. They had a clear sense of what they were praying for, what they were striving for. What were the people in Acts 13 praying about? What were the leaders in 1888 praying about? What are you praying about? What are you thinking about? What do you see? Many students of Scripture say that Mm-hmm. <laughs>
ourselves before you and ask what's next. And I ask, Lord, that as you have blessed this community of faith for 125 years, that you would continue to bless them until you return so that the name of Jesus would not only be proclaimed, but shared in such a way that people in this area and therefore throughout the world will be able to respond. Thank you for them and their witness so far. I look forward to their witness.